And that's what I would like to demonstrate for you with Joe Caradonna. Come on out, Joe. Hello. Joe has been with NetApp for a long time. 17 years? 17 years this month. And <laughs> <laughs> hey, thank you. <laughs> when uh, one of the early things Joe did at NetApp was put multi-processor support into ONTAP. And then when we were doing the cluster work and it was time to, to hoist ONTAP up into a free BSD environment, Joe. Yep. And uh, software-defined storage, getting ONTAP running in virtual machines. And, and so long, what are you up to today? What, what's your title? What, what do you do? So I'm the senior technical director of our data fabric engineering group. And the thing I've been focusing on is defining and driving our technical agenda uh, to realize the promise of our data fabric vision. So let me set the stage. Yesterday, Nito and Jeff put Joel's awesome backup, his database, into an Amazon cloud. And here's our mission today. Our mission is to get it from the Amazon cloud into the Azure cloud in a usable form. And you can imagine lots of reasons why you might want to do that. But let's just say Joel's awesome database. It's like the general ledger. We suspect fraud. And we hired some data analyst, forensic guys, some accountants. And, and so, and, but they like Azure. That's where their toolkit lives. So we got to get the data from Amazon to Azure. That's our goal. How do we, how do we start? Want to jump into the demo? Let's demo. All right. So here's what we're going to do. This is On Command Cloud Manager, and this is our tool for managing public cloud resources. Same thing you saw a lot of times yesterday. Right. So we're just going to log right our version that. is different. <laughs> so a lot of capabilities we're going to show you here today. These are capabilities we have in the lab. So as Dave mentioned, you know you can't buy this, but we're we're showing you the future. So empty. Empty. This is an empty workspace, and this is where you go to create virtual appliances in the cloud. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, Joel, or Jeff Baxter yesterday and Neto from Brazil backed up Joel's data using an AltaVault, a physical appliance, to get it into an S3 object repository. So what we're going to do, we're going to create an AltaVault in the cloud because here we have AltaVault um, integration with Cloud Manager. So we're going to fire that up, connect it to that bucket. Yeah, so AltaVault is a virtual machine. Get it going. Yeah, so let's go and do that. So here you can see where. Select the one you got. Our one. list has more things than the one you buy. And we're okay. going to name it. We're going to call it ABA for short on AWS. Continue that. And we select the region. So Joel's from the East Coast of the United States. So that's the region where he puts his data. Set our network configuration here. Plug in your credentials. And then you identify the bucket names. This was Joel's awesome backup. So just what Neto, Neto typed yesterday. Yeah. We say Neto, you say Neto. <laughs> what's, so we, that, what's that uh, checkbox? Ah, the check, well, that's just a little reminder saying, you know, as soon as you hit that go button, Amazon's going to start charging you money. So, Let us give Amazon some money. Yeah, let's spend it. Hit the go. So now we have our AltaVault appliance connected to Joel's awesome backup and Amazon. OK, so now I want to get the data into usable form in Azure. Yeah, so how are we going to do that? So we've been working with Microsoft on this. So we're going to show, we're going to kick off uh, Cloud on Tap in Azure. Cloud on Tap in Azure. That's another one you can't have. I mean, yeah. That's yeah. all right. <laughs> we got one of you. <laughs> and you name it, we're going to call this COT, Cloud on Tap, on Azure. Now here is your data security selection. Now you can choose not to encrypt your data or encrypt your data. Now, interesting story about data encryption. Um, our IT organization is actually an early adopter of NetApp products. Cynthia described that yesterday. She's always customer number one for our technology. Yeah. And even before we ship, right, they'll evaluate the systems, they'll look at the use cases, and they'll deploy. So they looked at Cloud on Tap, dreamed up all these wonderful use cases and then came to the conclusion they couldn't use it for any of them. Because we have high security policies for our business data that Amazon just couldn't meet. So you just got to keep in mind, Joe 
a technical director, is admitting that he and his team designed a product that our own company could not use. <laughs> Does your mom know? <laughs> well, <laughs> well, you know, Dave, you put it that way, it sounds bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that was true. And, you know, we had to do, what we had to do is we had to add encryption. And it wasn't just about adding the encryption capabilities. I mean, Amazon had encryption capabilities with EBS. Um, but it's about how you manage the keys as well. So it turns we, out if you're going to keep your encryption in the cloud, you shouldn't keep your keys in the cloud, right? So that, yeah, all about so key we added uh, support for key management servers, just like you would use on 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 prem. So all right, so restoring okay, so Joel's let's data, it. it's business critical data. We better turn encrypt on it. Encrypt it, of course. Right? Encrypt it. I will. Encrypt it. All right, again, East Coast. Select our network here. Credentials. Then we're going to select the storage type, and we're going to go with Azure Premium Storage. Premium. It's Joel. Premium. We're not messing around here. And again, you've got a warning checkbox. This time, when you hit the Go button, you're going to start paying Microsoft. Any partners Microsoft now we're sending money to Am Azure. Yep. Okay, so look at this picture. It's, it's a simple picture, but there's a lot going on. On that side, we've got the Amazon cloud. On this side, we've got the Azure cloud. On this side, we've got an AltaVault virtual machine running. On this side, we've got ONTAP running. So you've got two different data centers, two different hyperscalers, two different storage operating systems, and two different data formats. OK, so that's the situation. We want to get the data from here to there. How do we do it, Joe? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to drag this cloud and drop it onto that cloud. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want you guys to think about what it is you're applauding. Because in 1984, Apple introduced drag and drop to the consumer market. And in 2015, you're applauding drag and drop. But ours does more. <laughs> and we'll get into what it's actually doing under the covers in a minute. Uh, but I shall also point out, with Cloud Manager, all the operations that you can do with the GUI, well, there's a RESTful API for it. So you can automate all this yourself. So we're going to move forward in the demo here. We're going to select the volume that we want to restore. Joel's awesome volume. Yep, that's the one. And now we're going to select the snapshot that we're going to restore. And now we're going to spend more money. Spend more money. So now. We have a relationship between now, the two. Now there's a line. Which means, and you can see which direction we're moving the data to. We're transferring the data right now. You want to see that? Yeah, let's see the data. We're going to go into replication status. And here's our data. Moving from one cloud to another. So what, what would have had to happen if you didn't have the drag and drop? What, what was going on there? So it's what we're doing under the covers here. I mean, this is, we're using Snap Mirror to get the data from from AltaVault to ONTAP. <laughs> that, some people are clapping, some people aren't. That was an announcement that someday <laughs> AltaVault will support the Snap Mirror protocol. It does in the lab. That's not something, you know, when you think about the data fabric, snap mirroring data from one place to another is a big part of how it works. So every time the engineers add the snap mirror protocol to another product, it's like it's another thread in the fabric. Yeah, and it turns out it's really efficient for cloud use cases too because uh, we preserve all the storage efficiencies. So your dedupe and your compression is maintained over the wire. So. Are we done? Yeah, we're done. we're done. So let's just check. Let's just pop into a Cloud on tap to keep it all honest here and uh, look in the volume. And here's Joel's database that was back that was restored to Cloud on tap. So I kept interrupting you. I didn't notice. <laughs> Can you just do the whole thing again? Yeah, let's do it again. We'll speed it up this time though. <laughs> so we're drag and dropping. We're laying the foundation for our data fabric with, with capabilities like this. So what occurs to me is we have made it so easy 
for you to take data from one data center somewhere in the world and just spray it all over the globe. And here's my question. Isn't that dangerous? <laughs> Does anyone here have a problem with that? Um, <laughs> So as we pointed out, we added, we added encryption capabilities to the ONTAP software stack, right? Uh, we also have it for Alta Vault and for our storage arrays as well. Um, but data security goes beyond the encryption, it goes beyond that, right? What you really need is visibility and control of your data, no matter where it is. You need the ability to tag, track, apply policy, and enforce policy on that data. So like by enforce the policy, you might, like I'd try and drag and it says, eh, not allowed. Yeah, like don't let it leave the borders of my country, right? And you should be able to track what's going on too. Like what is my financial data doing in Brazil? So you, so you can expect from us to be developing tools uh, for you to be able to accomplish What do you have against that. Brazil? You know, Nito's from Brazil. <laughs> I love Brazil. My wife is from Brazil, so I, I'm cool with Brazil. <laughs> Just don't want your financial data there. <laughs> Just don't want my financial data there. Um, yeah, so we'll be uh, developing tools uh, to enable you to do that as we evolve our data fabric. So I got a question for you, Joe. You have been a programmer at NetApp, sort of, you know, hardware, programming on the iron, I mean, for 17 years, and then you have led, you and your team of engineers doing cloud development, right? What, what does that feel like? How is it different? What, what have you learned doing it? Well, it's exciting, and, I, and I'll tell you why. Um, the cloud is, it's a moving target. Right? And it's also one that moves quickly. And we had to adapt our engineering processes to keep pace. And we did so. So last year at Insight, George announced Cloud ONTAP. And since then, we've released two more versions of it in Cloud Manager, and we got a third on the way. Um, AltaVault also announced here last year. And look at that platform today, and everything about it is different. OpenStack. OpenStack is a, it's a vibrant community. They pump out a new release every six months, and NetApp's right there building right along you know, with them. You shared a stat with me about OpenStack, the, the source we'd contributed. Sh share that. Yeah, so you know, NetApp, in this latest release of OpenStack called Liberty, NetApp contributed more code than any other vendor for both Cinder and Manila. So uh, we're doing a lot of work to integrate with <laughs> ecosystems around. Yeah. So is that all you got, Joe? Any, anything else? <laughs> That's all you've done after a year in the lab? Yeah. <laughs> so, no. I mean, you know, we, we've shown you one, one view of the future today. Um, but there's more to see. And right here at Insight. So engineering teams came together to prepare some demonstrations for you of things that we're doing to evolve our data fabric. Right? And again, we typically don't do this at Insight, but we're doing it for you here today. So you can go to NetApp booth and check that out. I invite you to do so. Um, Tomorrow morning, nine, maybe? Yeah, after this, we're going to the party, right? Yeah. And, um, you know, by now, from between the, the sessions you've been attending and the demos you saw yesterday and what you saw here today on the stage, I hope you're starting to get a sense of what this data fabric is all about. But not only that, I hope you see the innovation behind it. Because it's the innovation, it's the innovation as a technical director for engineering here at NetApp, it's that innovation and the passion that the engineering team brings to it, right? It's that what it, which is what I find exciting. And I think we're building some really cool stuff here, and there's more to come. Thank you so much. Yep. Thank you.